Hey everybody, Brooks from Drag Times here. Welcome back to the channel. I'm out here at CES in Las Vegas. And as you saw in a previous kind of tease I did on YouTube on Instagram, track mode for the Tesla Plaid is out. However, I'm out here in Vegas and my car still has not got the update back home in Miami. However, Yuli came out with a Tesla Plaid and his brand new Razor Aero wheels, which look sick by the way, check them out. And what we're gonna do here, this car actually has the track mode update. So we're gonna do a test of the new top speed out here in the desert Las Vegas. And we're gonna go to a special spot and try drift mode. You can actually select how much bias you want front and rear, just like they did in the Model 3. And uh, we'll see if we can do some pretty cool donuts with 1,020 horsepower. So these wheels are actually 6% more efficient than the wheels that come with uh, the Arachnid wheels on the Tesla Plaid. So if you want extra range, you gotta check these out. Let's jump inside and check out track mode and see what it's all about. Here we go. First, you go to pedals and steering. I know you've already seen this in a lot of other videos, but you haven't seen it from me yet. But basically, click on track mode, click on OK to all the disclaimers, and then you can go to customize. This allows you a few different settings. You can hear actually the fans are turning on and speeding up. And then you get a new display over here showing the battery temperatures, the temperatures of the motors, and these are the different settings here. So you got post drive cooling brake temperatures, which uh, will show you temperature, display, and warnings if they get too hot, and then save dash cam for laps. That will let you do laps and mark a GPS point. And then as you come around that GPS point, uh, it'll have a lap timer, which is right up here, which is pretty cool, so you can practice your laps. So in the two presets they give you, you got a race preset, which is a 50-50 uh, and a zero handling assist and regen or break into 100, and then a drift preset, which is actually completely real wheel drive bias, stability assist, stability assist to minus 10 and regen braking at 100%. And then you can do your own settings. So here's where it gets really interesting. You can slide this from zero, from completely front balance to 50-50 to completely rear balance. And you can also adjust the stability test from plus 10 to minus 10 and the regen braking as well. Little warning there from zero, zero regen braking to 100%. So after driving a few minutes in track mode, I can tell you the regen braking at 100% is way higher than without track mode. So it's it's a definitely a different driving experience uh, with that regen braking. And the handling balance is just for when you're turning the steering wheel left and right. It doesn't actually push power completely to the front or completely to the rear uh, when you have the steering wheel straight. So you're not able to do front wheel drive and rear wheel drive burnouts at the drag strip and heat up the tires and such. Unless, of course, uh, you spin the wheel all the way around and then nail it, which I'm about to show you what happens. It does some really wicked donuts. Now, I will also note that when you go into track mode, it says 21 minutes remaining. That is different than if you were just in regular drag strip mode. So if I turn drag track mode off and go into drag strip mode, it's a different cal calculator. You can see we got nine minutes remaining to go into complete drag strip mode. And when you enable track mode, it must be doing some additional uh, cooling or heating of the battery and so forth. So it actually says 24 minutes remaining right now. So let's head out and test out the new top speed. I've seen upwards of 174. Tesla says 174, I've seen 175. Let's see what we get out here in the desert. All right, here we go. Track mode enabled, dropping down. Man, we're off. Breaking errors. Okay. There you go. You Uli, what did you think? 173 miles an hour. Uphill. Uphill. And I think we got a little diameter change yep. with the tires you put yes. on there, so that could affect the top speed. Anyways, 173 is 10 more mile an hour. Effortless. Then it comes. Oh yeah, easy. So 10 more than 163, and I think it might go a little quicker. And anyways, the car is just a rocket. We didn't actually do any draggy testing out here because we were at 80%, we got two people in the car, so I don't think we would've got any better numbers. Yep. I did hear there is no additional power um, that comes with this update. Nevertheless, it's a really exciting update to get 10 more mile an hour and all the track mode functions do burnouts and, and uh, donuts. So let's uh, 
let's go hit up and have some fun and do some donuts now. You yeah, ready? Yeah. All right, let's, let's do, do it. it. Cool. <laughs> that is gorgeous. <laughs> that was a good one. That one it cut me out. Wow, but that was. It's just smoking, man. Joe so Brooks, what do you think? There we go. That was a good one. All right, all right. Drift mode enabled. <laughs> All right, so now that I'm back and after making those edits to the video, a couple of notes, uh, as you saw at the end, there was a couple of times when the car just would not go into drift mode or wouldn't do the donuts at all. After a couple of spins, the car kind of came up with some error messages. I thought I had recorded, but I didn't. But basically it said on the main display, uh, traction control disabled, uh, stability controlled, and regenerative braking disabled. And at that point, it wouldn't let me do anything else like that. It kept stopping and stuttering and analog brakes were coming on. No more donuts. At that point, uh, we reset the car, turned it off, turned it back on, still same thing. After about 15 minutes of just driving around the parking lot a bit, all of a sudden those air meshes went away and we were able to do additional donuts. Couple of last remaining questions are, if we can turn traction control completely to minus 10, leave the power at 50-50, will we now be able to dyno the car? question i'm gonna not sure i'm gonna want to go back to the dyno just to try that out i'd like to get a little more information from tesla uh if that's going to work before we spend all the time doing that other questions that came up can you use drag strip mode with track mode at the same time yes you can except sometimes the visual that says uh, lowering the cheetah mode and ready does not come up and you can see the car actually drop and do the launch as you can saw in the top speed video uh, the plaid mode, drag mode was uh, active with the plaid coming up, as well as the track mode with the battery. Towards the end, you can see the green motor temperature in the back kind of turn yellow as well. So I imagine on a track day when you're doing a lot of laps, you'll be able to see maybe the battery turn different temperature colors as well as the front and the rear motors. I would also like to get my car out and try a half mile test to see if the car would trap more than 175 and a half mile. I'm thinking we're still gonna top out by the, before the half mile is over. Uh, I still do not have track mode update in my car, so as soon as I get that, I will go out and do some more testing. As always, thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, hit the thumbs up, helps the video and the channel, and hit that subscribe button if you wanna see what's coming next. Thanks for watching.